Alright, Shalom, Shalom, this is the YG. Coming to you with another lesson. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and double honors to to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakak Kodash. Double honors to the elders of the Christian Party World Star, Christian as well, truth and necessity. Shout out to the Akim that's got to the four points of the earth, Christian as well, truth and necessity. And shout out to the Akim that be like unto the speckled bird. Preaching his word, truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. I say shalom to y'all, Aki. And the title of this lesson is going to be Chariot Sightings. And it's the book of Psalms, chapter 68, verse 17. The chariots of Yahweh are 20,000, even thousands of angels, the Lord among them as in Sinai in the holy place so you know um, I just wanted to bring out this uh, lesson you know you know that being chariot sightings because the chariots of the heavenly father you know the chariot father uh, of Israel you know the real Israelites you Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans and the speckled bird Israelites you know that's why I've been Lately, there have been a lot of charity sightings. You know, those are the chariots of the Heavenly Father. So, you know, just like the scripture says, the eye of the Lord is on the part of the sinful kingdom. You know, it's Babylon the Great. Because, you know, those chariots, those what you call UFOs, they really are the chariots of the Heavenly Father. You know, the angels of the guardian angels and those chariots. You know, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Yahweh, You know, recently they had chariot sightings here in uh, Chicago, Kansas City, a uh, chariot sighting in uh, Denver, Colorado, you know, in other places throughout the whole world and Babylon as well, too. So that let you know that the Most High is dealing with the, the prophets of the man of the Lord that's out there uh, prophesying against Babylon. Prophesying against modern day Mount Seir, you know, which is here in the northern hemisphere, Babylon the Great, the modern day Babylon the Great, you know, that's why you've been seeing a lot of chariot scenes because this word is being pushed forth through four corners of the earth and as it's continually as it's supposed to be, you know, the true doctrine of uh, Yahweh Bashim Al you know, that's why the most I uh, bring it. So, yeah. Yeah, man. All right. You know, Salakia. That's why, you know, the most I uh, send out prophets, the men of the Lord, the, the true servants of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, You know, to bring this word out. The more uh, the word brings out, the more truth comes out. You know, that's the more you see more charity sightings. Of the Heavenly Father, what you call so called UFOs, you know, those are the chariots of the Heavenly Father, those are the chariots of Israel, <laughs> Yashar Allah, you know, Prince of the Power, you know. That's why you've been seeing a whole lot of chariot sightings, so that lets you know that the times that we are living in, that's why, um, that's why the U.S. Uh, agencies and everything like that. It's starting to finally reveal the information that been uh, unreleased to the public for a while. Now it's starting to be released, you know. And then, you know, on a regular day, normal day basis, you start to see a lot of chariot sightings. You know, look up in the sky, you know, you're going to see a chariot sightings. Especially if it's among us around the men of the Lord. Every time, you know, you see chariots, uh, it'd be around the uh, camp where the hockey would be, where the servants, the prophets, uh, you know. That's why you see a lot of chariot sightings because, you know, we're getting close to that point. You know, we're getting close to the end of Esau, Edom's rulership. Just like, uh, like the scriptures say, Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of that fall. You know, uh, Jacob, uh, rulership and dominion is coming up soon. After all these prophecies come to pass, Jacob's trouble, uh, World War Three, you know, 
and all these prophecies when they do come to pass. You know, once you uh, see the Heavenly Father, Son, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, uh, Yahweh Shai, in the Hebrew, that's his true name. You know, once all these prophecies come to pass, and you know, want to see Yahweh Shai crack that sky, you know, and he's going to save his elect man, Lord willing. Lord willing that the men of the Lord that's out there right now on the highways and byways preaching this world through the four corners of the earth, preaching the true gospel of Yahweh by Hashem Shah. Lord willing they be in that number, you know. So I let you know that the times that we are living in and we're living in some very serious times. You know, that's why I just wanted to bring out the scripture of uh, recent chariot sightings. Around the camp, around the camp of the men of the Lord, that's out there preaching the word truthfully, faithfully, and sincerely and strongly. You know, that's why uh, expect expect more to see more UF so-called UFOs, the cherry seconds of the Heavenly Father. You know, the God of the Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the speckled bird Israelites that makes up the lost sheep of the house of Israel. You know, expect to see more cherry sightings. The angels of the Heavenly Father, you know, the UFOs, the chariots of Israel. So I hope this was edifying through the spirit of power, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. And I would like to give all praises, glory, and double honors to, to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Barakadash. Double honors to the elders, Apostle Ray Millstone, Christians, Word, truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. Shout out on to the Hakim that's got the four corners of the earth, pushing this word truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. And shout out on to the Hakim that be like unto the speckled bird, pushing this word truthfully, faithfully, and strongly, and sincerely. Until then, I will say shout out on.